Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. If you are looking for any particular certification which is currently not available on our channel, please mention that in the comment. Our team will prioritize those. Thank you. Next question is. A large company is using AWS organizations to manage its multi-account AWS environment. According to company policy, all users should have read-level access to a particular Amazon S3 bucket in a central account. The S3 bucket data should not be available outside the organization. A sysops administrator must set up the permissions and data bucket policy to the S3 bucket. Which parameters should be specified to accomplish this in the most efficient manner? A specify asterisk as the principal and principal orgled as a condition. B specify all account numbers as the principal. C specify principal orgled as the principal. D specify the organization's management account as the principal. Correct answer is C. Next question is. A sysops administrator is troubleshooting connection timeouts to an Amazon EC2 instance that is a public IP address. The instance has a private IP address of 172.31.16.139. When the sysops administrator tries stopping the instance's public IP address from the remote IP address 203.0.113.12, the response is request timed out. The flow logs contain the following information. What is one cause of the problem? A inbound security group deny rule. B outbound security group deny rule. C network ACL inbound rules. D network ACL outbound rules. Correct answer is D. Next question is. A company has multiple Amazon EC2 instances that run a resource-intensive application in a development environment. A sysops administrator is implementing a solution to stop these EC2 instances when they are not in use. Which solution will meet this requirement? ASS AWS Cloud Trail logs to over a fifth that there is no EC2 API activity. Invoke an AWS Lambda function to stop the EC2 instances. B. Create an Amazon CloudWatch alarm to stop the EC2 instances when the average CP utilization is lower than 5% for a 30 minute period. C. Create an Amazon CloudWatch metric to stop the EC2 instances when the volume read bytes metric is lower than 500 for a 30 minute period. D. Use AWS config to invoke an AWS Lambda function to stop the EC2 instances based on resource configuration changes. Correct answer is B. Next question is. A sysops administrator needs to configure a solution that will deliver digital content to a set of authorized users through Amazon CloudFront. Unauthorized users must be restricted from access. Which solution will meet these requirements? A store the digital content in an Amazon S3 bucket that doesn't have a public access blocked. Use signed URLs to access the S3 bucket through CloudFront. B. Store the digital content in an Amazon S3 bucket that has public access blocked. Use an Origin Access Identity, OAI, to deliver the content through a CloudFront. Restrict S3 bucket access with signed URLs in CloudFront. 
See store the digital content in an Amazon S3 bucket that has public access blocked. Use an origin access identity, OAI, to deliver the content through a cloud front. Enable field level encryption. Destore the digital content in an Amazon S3 bucket that doesn't have a public access blocked. Use signed cookies for restricted delivery of the content through CloudFront. Correct answer is B. Next question is A company runs a application on three Amazonic two instances behind an application load balancer, ALB. The company noticed a trend in periods of increased traffic cause a degradation in the application's performance. A sysops administrator must scale the application to meet the increased traffic. Which solution meets these requirements? A. Create an Amazon CloudWatch alarm to monitor application latency and increase the size of each EC2 instance if the desired threshold is reached. B. Create an Amazon Event Bridge, Amazon CloudWatch Events. Rule to monitor application latency and add an EC2 instance to the ALB if the desired threshold is reached. C. Deploy the application to an auto-scaling group of EC2 instances with a target tracking scaling policy. Attach the ALB to the auto-scaling group. D. Deploy the application to an auto-scaling group of EC2 instances with a scheduled scaling policy. Attach the ALB to the auto-scaling group. Correct answer is, C.